We all love comfort food. And today we're gonna to show you how to make a recipe that screams comfort. This recipe is not only full of flavor, but it can be adapted to the puree or blended foods, soft foods, and beyond once you reach stabilization. You wanna to remember to slow down, chop everything to the size of the tip of your finger, and use some broth or light mayo to soften your meats. Also remember to take small bites and chew your food to baby food consistency. If you're using this recipe for a puree meal, blend everything to make sure there's no lumps or chunks in your meal. Being on a bariatric diet can be delicious. Start by preheating your oven to 350. Coat a baking pan with nonstick cooking spray and place the one pound tenderloin in the pan. We want to use the tenderloin cut of the pork as it is a lean and tender cut of meat, so it is usually easy to tolerate. In a small bowl, combine two cloves of garlic, minced, a quarter teaspoon ground nutmeg, one tablespoon fresh grated ginger, or if you don't have fresh, two teaspoons of dried ginger, mix well and rub the top of the tenderloin with the mixture. Cut one large onion into half inch wedges. Peel and core two Granny Smith apples and cut into half inch wedges. Surround the tenderloin with alternating wedges of onion and apple. Pour a half cup of water over the apples and onion only. In a small bowl, combine half a teaspoon of cinnamon with two packets of artificial sweetener. Sprinkle generously over the apples and onion, being careful to avoid the meat. Cover with foil and bake for 20 minutes. Remove the foil and bake for an additional 10 minutes to brown the meat. Let the meat rest for a few minutes. Slice meat thinly and serve alongside apples and onions. A serving size should equal two to three ounces of meat and a quarter cup of the apples and onion. For the blended diet, you can blend meat and apple and onion mixture separately or blend them together for added flavor. Whatever works for you. Just make sure they are blended to stage two baby food consistency.